I guess some Republicans tell me that not only were they outspent in this election, but some Democrats in tough races co-opted some of their messaging. But more than that, some of the more significant reasons why they lost out Tuesday was the high voter turnout, abortion, and even Tudor Dixon's stance, that no exception stance on that issue. It was definitely out of step with where the majority of the people of the state are. And I think that that was something that we um, never completely came to grips with during the campaign, how deeply it was felt by, by a big segment of, of the electorate. And those people came out and those people were heard. And GOP strategist and insider Jamie Rowe says his ears are still ringing. Republicans suffered major losses Tuesday. Their candidates at the top of the ticket lost by an average of 11 points. Their majorities in the state legislature gone. Democrats won control of both chambers for the first time in 40 years. It's disappointing. I mean, it was, it was disappointing. So what went wrong for Republicans? Well, for one, high voter turnout and that amongst younger voters. Part of this election was an election about the future. And young people are looking to their futures, and the GOP may want to redirect and think about focusing there as opposed to looking to the past. Dr. Jacqueline Barichka is the Dean of Liberal Arts and Education at Detroit Mercy and the keen observer of politics and culture. She says some GOP candidates were simply not strong enough to square off against the incumbents. Candidates, whatever their background experience, when they bring it into the political sphere, they need to be able to perform in that space. And I'm not convinced that those candidates performed in that space the way that people would have hoped. Although Democrats outspent Republicans in this election, Green is not entirely the reason the GOP was left seeing red Tuesday night and Wednesday morning. It's a guy that used to live at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue named Donald Trump. Those folks that decided that they had to be all in on Trump, like Christina Caramo and Gibbs on the other side of the state, they lost. Kerry Jackson, a Republican and host of the Urban Conservative Hour on 910 AM radio, believes it's time Republicans move on from Trump and do more to reach out to racial minorities and younger voters who turned out in droves Tuesday. Rowe says in addition to that, it's time to revamp the way people are picked to run for some offices. I think you get better, stronger candidates through broad electric primaries, and I think that we need, we, we, there are a few of us who would like to take a look at changing that, and I think that you could have a, a pretty strong bipartisan coalition to do that. Now, we reached out to the state Republican Party for an official comment, no response yet, but some Republicans that I talked with believe that the party could really be at a crossroads, especially when you consider the possibility that, that this high voter turnout may not be a one-off, but rather a lasting trend, and that may not bode well for the GOP unless they can retool, rebrand, and really bring more people in. Roop Taren. Yeah, and part of that retooling and rebranding, that question that that gentleman brought at the end of the story there, Randy, about the Trump factor. We know that Donald Trump came to town, mm -hmm. took pictures with Tudor Dixon, spoke in Macomb County, but even in Macomb County, where he had such a stronghold before, Governor Whitmer won Macomb County over Tudor Dixon. So you wonder how much people are going to be looking to Trump moving forward. And that's a really good point. And when you look at nationwide, you look at the many of the candidates that uh, former President Trump that he backed, a number of them lost their races. But you look at other people who distanced themselves from Trump, if you will, who went, it, uh, went at it alone, many of them won, especially Ron DeSantis down in Florida, who is likely really being looked at as someone who could run for president in 24. So this really uh, is kind of telling when you think about Trump and his influence, his position in the Republican Party from here on out. You know, the GOP has some soul searching for, to do for sure, and that's something that started in earnest last night. Randy Wimbley for us live. Thank you.